And now we have Congressman Brett Guthrie, the second congressional district, who's on the line with us right now. Good evening, Congressman Guthrie. How are you? Good evening. I'm doing well. Doing very well. It's nice down here in Bowling Green. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Well, thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, you may have heard the conversation that Bill just had with Congressman Rogers. And just get to the point uh, about the divided nature of this country and possibly Congress and the new president working to help the nation heal after such a bitter election contest to work in a way to move the country forward, particularly for those who we heard from many Trump supporters who feel like they were left behind uh, during this process and by government in general. Well, you're right, and, and the nature of the, the presidential race it has divided the country and always look for and hope for, you know, people to run campaigns that are aspirational and not negative, and it leads to an, a governing agenda. So tomorrow morning when we all wake up and figure out who, what the score is, the president, who's the president and the House and the Senate, that we have to figure out a way to work together and unite the country. So the president probably had the best opportunity to do that in 2008 when he came in. He kept talking about unite the country, hope and change. And he decided to govern you know, to, his, to his left, to his political left, to the base. I'm sure that that's where his philosophy is. But whoever's the president needs to say, the head's going to have to make the decision Am I going to govern to a base, or am I going to govern to the, where the country is, which is center-right, move and bring people together? What do you think are the most pressing issues the 115th Congress will face when you go back next year? We are going to have to deal with the debt. We're going to absolutely have to deal with the debt. It's driven by entitlement. Uh, the president would even say, when meetings we had, I understand this is important and it's a big issue, but not now. I'll do it later. You know, we're getting to a point where we're not going to be able to deal with it if we don't it's going to be more. It's going to be more hurtful to people to deal with if we don't deal with it early. The earlier we fix it, the easier it's going to be for people to to deal with. And we're going to have to deal with that. And then also safety and security, making sure we got a strong military. We support our men and women who sacrifice everything to support our, to serve our country. And those are the big things. But uh, whoever the president's going to be, we're going to have to deal with the debt. We can't add another ten trillion dollars with the debt over the next four years like we have over the last eight. Well, thank you, Congress, Congressman Guthrie, for your time this evening. Uh, congratulations, and uh, we'll hear and see more about you in the 115th Congress, of course. Well, thank you very much. Look forward to serving the people of the 2nd District.